fiscal year 2021-2022, which was announced by President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi and his Tunisian counterpart. Minister of Culture announced the launch of the activities of the Egypt-Tunisia Culture Year on the 23rd of June as part of the Cultural Relations Initiative organized by the Foreign Cultural Relations Sector in cooperation with the Supreme Council of Culture. And now we're delighted to be joined over the telephone by our guest uh, discussing uh, this afternoon's topic on Egyptian support of African uh, women and children's rights. We're delighted to be joined over the telephone by Her Excellency Ambassador Mushira Khattab, the prominent, of course, politician and former Minister of Family and Population. Your Excellency, a very good afternoon to you, ma'am. Good afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, Madam Ambassador. Now you are uh, in Lesotho at the moment, uh, and uh, this is a very interesting visit. Uh, tell us a bit about uh, what you are leading, a delegation in Lesotho, um, with regards yes. to yes, women and children's rights. Yes, yes, I am uh, leading a delegation uh, of the African Committee of Experts on the Rights and Welfare of the Child. Right. We're visiting the Kingdom of Lesotho in Southern Africa. Uh, yesterday we had a meeting with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Minister of Social Development. And uh, I'm very happy while in Africa to see how Egypt uh, has promoted and has pushed its cooperation with Africa. I see that yesterday President Abdel Fattah Sisi met with the heads of uh, constitutional and supreme uh, court yes. in, uh, in Africa and uh, Egypt uh, hosted a forum for African investment authorities to uh, boost and encourage investment in the African continent mm -hmm. and this come really as a continuation of the undivided attention yes. uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi has given to uh, uh, Africa. Mm -hmm. And this is happening at the same time that Egypt is receiving the French finance minister, Bruno Le Maire, mm -hmm. uh, who held talks and signed infrastructure uh, funding agreements worth almost 4 billion euros covering transport, security, and development. Yes. All this show us how much Egypt has achieved during the last seven years. Absolutely. Huge improvements in infrastructure, electricity, roads. We see the sovereign funds will uh, provide uh, optimal investment of assets. And the French finance minister held talks because France wants to be our third largest foreign investor. Mm -hmm. uh, the IFC could invest 300 million US dollars in Egyptian healthcare firms. Mm -hmm. All of this show the huge achievements yes. that Egypt has achieved over the last seven years. We've consolidated ourselves thanks to the work that has been done domestically yes. to uh, improve the infrastructure and invest in people. Mm -hmm. uh, if I only mention one achievement, the eradication of hepatitis C. Yes. Something, uh, an initiative that the president endorsed and championed, and this was really unconceivable. I mean, it was a dream that we never thought we could see the day when this hepatitis C is eradicated. So really, uh, Egypt has uh, emerged as a very solid, peaceful uh, uh, country. We, we've seen the partnership between the private sector and the public sector. Yes. And with this uh, uh, domestic strength, uh, p uh, security, uh, politically and economically, mm -hmm. Egypt is moving to support the African continent and to attract uh, foreign investment to the African continent. Mm -hmm. and, and Egypt has launched many initiatives for the African continent. Yes. Let me only mention mm -hmm. the youth initiative that yes. President Abdel Fattah mm -hmm. has launched during the youth uh, conference. And now we see the focus 
on the business community, mm -hmm. on the ICT, on the food industry, on the uh, uh, technical training, on renewable energy. Uh, these are all very important uh, uh, areas of cooperation with the African uh, continent, mm -hmm. plus the technical and legal support to the business community in the continent. Yes. And attention to data, exchange of information about investment mm -hmm. uh, infrastructure. All these are really very solid achievements that we have achieved over the last seven years. Of course, I will not uh, repeat what I said previously yes. mm -hmm. about the huge achievements Egyptian women has Game. Yes. The now this right leads me. This now. leads me, Your Excellency, to uh, the second part of my question. Uh, first, before we move back home, uh, as part of your mission, you met the Foreign Minister and the Minister of Social Solidarity, both of which are women. Is that correct, in Lesotho? Yes. yes. How do you evaluate yes. Yes. the steps, uh, Madam Ambassador, towards women empowerment, not just in Egypt, but let's move to the African continent uh, at large, then move back home? Well, uh, I am very impressed mm. by uh, women empowerment in the African continent. Yes. And as you know, Lesotho is... Uh, I'm honored. I was uh, ambassador to Lesotho, yes. and recent ambassador to Lesotho when I was ambassador to South Africa. South Africa, yes. African women, yes. African women has achieved... Uh, I mean, they made huge progress. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lesotho is a formidable uh, lady mm -hmm. with uh, a very solid background. Uh, she was a former uh, Deputy Minister of Finance. She has uh, a, a ex huge experience in ICT. Uh, she works on fighting corruption and she has a track record on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Minister of Social Development has fought very hard to move the headquarters of the African Committee on the Rights and Welfare of the Child mm. from Addis Ababa to Lesotho. Mm -hmm. And this committee is now in Lesotho, and tomorrow the Prime Minister of Lesotho will come to us at the African uh, uh, Committee mm. to launch the new headquarters. And Lesotho, a, a, a lower middle income country, mm. uh, is really having big uh, dreams about the rights of its children. Mm -hmm. In the post-COVID phase, mm. the national response now puts children high on the agenda. Yes. And I'm really impressed by the progress uh, women in Lesotho and women in Africa in general uh, are uh, making. If mm. you look at Burundi, two-thirds of uh, parliament are women and yes. the same with the government. Mm. So it's, it's a huge uh, problem. Right, absolutely. Now back home, uh, uh, Madam Ambassador, we've seen uh, lots of changes with regards to women's rights, children's rights, women empowerment, their involvement in political, economic and social uh, life. Uh, women now are on the state council and on the public prosecution. Very great steps really for the Egyptian a path of gender equality. This year, as we yes. uh, celebrate the 30th of June, mm. uh, is a special celebration. Yes. Because uh, what I said about hepatitis C, eradication of hepatitis C, this was something inconceivable. Mm. Uh, we also can celebrate something that was inconceivable, which uh, is women uh, uh, entering the administrative court, mm. Maglis Dawla. Now, women... Uh, are there yes. and the same with the Niyab al -Amma, the public prosecution. Yes. So as we celebrate the 30th of June, mm. uh, uh, women in the judiciary enjoy uh, equal rights, yes. truly equal rights. And this is a huge step. Mm -hmm. We have one hurdle, and I hope we can get over this hurdle, which is the civil status law. Mm. And I am sure with the message that President Abdel Fattah Sisi has declared uh, on uh, Women's Day, on the 8th of uh, March, mm -hmm. uh, he will not sign a law that will not do justice to women. So I am hoping 
that the new personal status law will be guided by the best interest of the child. Mm -hmm. I don't want to look at it as a struggle between men and women, mm -hmm. but I want to look at it as men and women working together to ensure the best interest of the child mm -hmm. when marriage fails, when the, the marriage is dissolved. Mm -hmm. The marriage is, is, is no longer there, but children are there, Definitely. and the mother and the father are there, mm -hmm. and the only criteria for the personal status law should be the best interest of, of the, the child. child yes as and usual support yes yes as usual madam okay. ambassador children you know bear the consequences of every single action law legislation uh, even i mean we've seen uh, the latest uh, developments and aggression on the gaza strip how children really were caught uh, in the crossfire and were affected and egypt has also we've seen egyptian um, political leadership extending a hand uh, of support to the children of gaza who suffered especially after the recent uh, israeli aggression last month which not just destroyed homes but lives really and hospitals how do you see the situation now for the Palestinian children in Gaza and how do you see the help of the Egyptian authorities let me tell you that this is another huge victory yes. for Egypt mm -hmm. Egypt is a certain uh, uh, asserting through action yes. not words yes that there is no lasting peace without Egypt playing a, 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 a fundamental, a uh, vital mm. role. Mm. And it was Egypt who was able to achieve ceasefire, mm. and, uh, ceasefire and maintain the ceasefire. I think the consequences of the last uh, uh, surge of Israeli forces, which resulted in the death of 67 children, mm. and for the first time we see the New York Times uh, cover page or front page Headlines, with the yes. photos mm. uh, uh, the photos of the 67 children and the headline they were only children mm. this has really uh, made a paradigm shift mm. in the perception of certain behaviors of Israel as an occupying power mm -hmm. and with the assistance of Egypt hopefully I know that there has been uh, uh, a change of leadership in Israel and Netanyahu lost. Mm. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Mm. It doesn't I, because if we follow the Israeli politics, always when the the, mm. the going gets tough, we have a new election. Yes, but we don't lose sight of what we want: an independent Palestinian mm. state where the Palestinians enjoy equal rights to security, to development, and peace. And Egypt, only through the mediation of Egypt with other key national, uh, regional uh, 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 powers, will achieve lasting peace in Palestine. Yes. And if we are not happy with Hamas, we have to take into account that we don't punish the Palestinian people mm. who are under the authority mm. of Hamas. Yes. We have to distinguish mm. the, because you, you, you say you're punishing Hamas, but actually you are punishing the Palestinian people. The civilian, uh, yes. uh, children lose their lives. So I'm happy that Egypt has demonstrated by deeds that uh, the Egyptian leadership is indispensable. And the same thing happened with Libya. And we will continue. And inshallah, we will see the day when the uh, GERD issue will be solved. And I'm very happy to see uh, the Egyptian diplomacy exercised by uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to put our rights to the international community. Those Absolutely. who talk about human rights should not lose sight of the human rights of the Egyptian people, simply the right to life, to drink water. This is, this is the basics, really. Absolutely. Indeed. Madam Ambassador, are you with us, ma'am, on the line? Right.
I'm afraid I think we've lost uh, Her Excellency Ambassador Mushira Khattab, the, uh, of course, uh, former Minister of Family and Population and the other prominent politician. But I would like to thank you very, very much, ma'am, for your insight and for all uh, your uh, insight in today's edition of Cairo Local Time. And, of course, a very important topic that we discussed uh, today with the latest developments regarding uh, women and children rights uh, inside Egypt as well as the African continent. And uh, just to wrap up today's edition, uh, we would like to extend our wishes uh, to the Egyptian uh, football icon Mohamed Salah, who celebrates his 29th birthday today. He has so far netted 125 goals in 203 games for Liverpool since joining them in 2017. And of course, he has more importantly won the hearts of many, many fans all over the world. A uh, very a big happy birthday to you, uh, Mohamed Salah. Wishing you many, many more full of uh, lots of victories and lots of goals. And uh, I guess uh, with that, uh, we wrap up today's edition of Cairo Local Time. We do hope you have enjoyed it. Do join us again tomorrow, just after 4 p.m. for another episode with a different crew. Till then, my name is Angie Meher. Many thanks for watching.